So again, my style of mixing or why I'm doing these mixes, I kind of think ahead. Okay, I can talk here. I'm going to leave this break where maybe another DJ would just go right into the next song. That's up to you. That's, that's cool. Um, with this kind of mixes, I keep them simple. I don't go too crazy because I have to do a lot of them on a weekly basis. So I can't really spend too much you know, time unless I want to just, you know, I want to give people new content every week. Um, so this one here, let me see. I just came in kind of like a cut. Um, and I just did a filter cut. There's just a little cut there. So this one here, what I did was I cut the end of it and I just added an effect just to this clip right here at the end. I'm gonna play it by itself. So I just added a little delay right to the end of it and I dropped the next record. And because I'm working on the grid with the numbers right here, so I know that it's going to be perfectly on beat when I drop that first beat there. So that's very important when you're doing this kind of mixes because if you don't work on that grid, you know, your mix might sound off when you drop the first beat. And also when you make cuts, it's easier when you're working with this grid. That's one of the things that in the six week course I go through with a lot of detail uh, and show you how to do that. Yeah, so these are all obviously pre done remixes and stuff, and then it goes into the last one. So here I did, I did, um, a cut, a bass cut going into Turn Down For What. It's cutting the bass. A lot of bass. Um, so that's how it looks like with the automation, and that's without. Uh, you can hide that view if, you know, once you're done with it. So you can do some really cool things. I'm going to show you guys another, uh, another big song, which is the, um, I don't know if you, you, I'm sure you probably saw the video version of it. The, uh, the best of 2014 is a mix that I do every year where I take like the 50 of the hottest songs and I put it together in a five minute mix. So it's like one big mashup. Um, it's something that I do every year. It's kind of like my challenge. So uh, to myself to, to be able to do it and, and make it sound <laughs> somewhat good. Um, <laughs> um, it's, it's about 16 hours worth of work, I would say. Uh, I don't do it, at, uh, you know, I, last year I did it in about two days, like about two eight-hour days. Um, I mean, the, the year before, the 2013 one. Last year I took my time with it. I just, like, I worked on it. I gave myself about a week, and I just kind of split up. Uh, I would walk away from it, make changes, ask everybody here what they thought, um, and then kind of, like, kept moving at it. These guys are my biggest critiques over here. so Because <laughs> they're the ones that tell me, no, nah, it don't sound good. And I'm like, all right, I don't take anything personal. Um, so this is, the this is the actual file. Let's open this up. Um, so one of the things that I did, I would, I mean, if I didn't use Studio One, I don't know if I would be able to do this, honestly. So the reason why I even decided to do this because I had the ability to to be able to time stretch songs and do crazy things with, with the music. Um, you're gonna see a lot of effects. <laughs> a 
So, esta es la mezcla que yo hice para a lo mejor del 2014, son 50 canciones en 5 minutos. Es un, un, un reto que yo eh, me pongo todos los años y ya llevo 3 años haciéndolo. Right, I'm going to make this really small because there's a lot of tracks. All right, so that's what it looks like. What's that? No, I mean, you know what it is? There's a, there's a couple of DJs that do this on the American side. Um, they do like mashup mixes at the end of the year. And I said, but you know what? Nobody in the Latin market is doing this. Once I started doing it, I realized why. Because <laughs> we don't have the acapellas to every song. Uh, it's not as easy. So I wanted to do it where it had kind of like a broad spectrum where you hear some dance music, some top 40 hip hop, but then you also had the salsa, the merengue, the bachata. Uh, and those, that was the hardest part because there's no acapellas to Romeo tracks and you have to put them in there because they're big records. Um, you know, like El Torito has some great tracks, but no acapellas, no instrumentals. So this is where you really, really got to work with the effects. Uh, so you're going to hear some things here that I added crazy effects just to try to get the vocal, you know, tratar de sacarle ese vocal eh, para que se escuchara como una capela. Y otra de las cosas es la librería de Studio One. This is, I think, the time where I use the library the most because I add the effects. The drum loops, like the hip hop or the house drum loops, I, I take them right from there. It has a lot of really cool effects, loops. So let's get into this. I'm going to play and then just kind of, you know, break it down some, how, how I did some of the things. You're going to hear a lot of vocal sampling. The people that have taken the course at first, you think like, you hear like, uh, 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 oh, yeah, or uh, uh, and you're like, wow, that must be really hard to do. And then when you start getting into editing, it's just cutting and pasting and duplicating. That's it. Uh, it just sounds really cool if you do it right. You're going to hear a lot of that. And then I started doing this, this little effect that became kind of like my signature. Uh, and you're going to hear it a lot in, in this mix. And I'll show you how I did it. So aquí está la mezcla. <laughs> So again, like right there. All I did was cut this one and duplicate it and move it over. And it created that effect. So there you have Romeo, and he has the telephone effect, because the original song would sound like this. That piece right there is from the last, all the way at the end of the original song. <laughs> so that's where I got that from. I added the telephone effect. And because I'm using these kind of effects underneath it, so estos efectos que están por abajo, and this too. So all this is from Studio One, this right here. That's all from Studio One, that's from the library. So eso viene uh, dentro del programa. Basic editing right there. You learned that in the first class. I just cut it and moved it over. Cut it, duplicate it. Right. 
So if you hear this song, I don't know how many of you like Taylor Swift. <laughs> uh, this song is, the original song is at 160 BPM. And this is at 128. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. You would never think that that's at 160 and the software brought it down to 128 and you don't lose quality. Um, so that's one of the biggest things for me, especially doing this mix, is I need to keep the quality of the music good. But I need to bring it all to a tempo that I can mix it. So, la calidad no cambia, pero sí le puedes cambiar el tempo. Y eso es una de las ventajas del programa. Y la contraparte de eso, the talk dirty to me is at 100, and it brought it up to 128. So you have two songs that are talking about the same thing, kind of mashed up. Okay, so here, I don't have the actual file, but see it says Katie Melodyne. Melodyne is a, a vocal editor that comes with Studio One. It's probably the biggest editor in the music industry. Maybe a lot of you guys are familiar with Autotune. So it's similar to Autotune. I feel like it's better. You can pitch correct the music. Puedes corregir los pitches de las canciones. So in este caso, yo hice, le cambié el tono un poquito de la capela para que fuera con al mismo tono de la canción de Pitbull. That comes with Studio One. If you have the professional version, it comes with uh, Melodyne Essential and it allows you to make pitch corrections to the music. So here, these two, these two acapellas, I pitch shifted them a little bit so that they go with the melody here. So musically, it, it makes sense. So this is the part where it gets kind of interesting. I use the, the, uh, the Pitbull drums. That's just from like the, the edit that I had. And then the Nesio has a telephone effect on it from the original song. So if I take off that effect, it has a delay on it too. That's from the original song. So just a nice pro EQ. And then I also have here running in the background. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So it has the bass, I just took the bass out of it. Yeah, yeah. So when you put it all together. So you can get creative, you know, using the effects and using uh, everything you have and really create something that sounds original and it sounds unique. 